the Commando Helicopter Force, um, which is a uh, force made up of air crew, uh, Royal Navy and Royal Marines, as well as the Organic Combat Service Support Unit. Um, they will be uh, reconstituting after a uh, complex transition from Sea King to Merlin, uh, from Lynx uh, to Wildcat. And what we're doing is uh, we are doing lots of tactical, in-depth, complex training uh, between now and 2020, uh, 2021. Um, and what we will do is build units of action uh, which are able to operate globally in support of special purpose task groups which are led by Royal Marines uh, for contingencies all over the world, whether that's peacekeeping or war fighting interventions. Uh, and we'll gradually increase the scale and complexity of those tasks until we're uh, fully fit and declared operational again. What's the timeline for the Merlin Mark IV becoming operational? Uh, well, we start taking delivery of the Maryland Mark IV in December this year uh, and we will gradually increase the size um, of the uh, platform numbers all the way through to full operation capability in 2021. And I understand you'll, they'll operate on two squadrons? That's correct. Uh, Maryland Mark IV will have 846 squadron and 845 squadron. Uh, 846 will be a training squadron and extremely high readiness uh, for homeland defence. And 845 squadron are primarily uh, very high readiness for um, global contingent operations. Do you expect to be embarked on the new carriers? Absolutely, we've got a key role in uh, integrating with the new carrier. Um, we will deploy uh, almost a uh, permanent flight on board, uh, which will help the uh, ship integrate again with aviation. Uh, and what we'll do is build up the scale of that effort. Uh, and we will also uh, integrate other joint helicopter uh, assets, such as Chinook and Apache as required, uh, to provide some heavy lift uh, and some fires. Uh, but we will be the core um, of that specialist platform capability. In addition, uh, we'll also offer um, lots of intra-theater lift uh, to support the carrier's logistical effort. Uh, we'll offer deployed search and rescue day and night in poor weather. Uh, we'll also offer combat recovery uh, to recover isolated personnel, whether they're, um, they're lost on land or indeed uh, in the maritime environment. And the Mark IV will uh, bring strategic capability? Absolutely. Uh, the Mark IV is uh, extremely fast. It's got huge fuel capacity and can carry lots of troops. Um, so as an example, I can uh, deploy and I have aircraft at extremely high readiness and very high readiness in the UK. can deploy them today uh, and they can be in Gibraltar later on this evening. And you work very closely with the Royal Marine? Absolutely. Uh, we are in direct support of the Royal Marines. Uh, we are their aviation specialists, uh, which is why there are many Royal Marines, air crew and Royal Navy commando trained. Uh, and wherever the Royal Marines go, uh, that's where we'll go to. And the Royal Marines are probably going to be embarked on the carrier anyway? Absolutely. Uh, and we conduct joint planning, jo joint exercises as a matter of routine with them. Uh, so we know exactly what they're thinking and what they want from us. And CHF crews are going to be some of the most trained in the Joint Helicopter Command for their global contingency role? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the Commando Helicopter uh, crews are the best uh, and most highly trained across the whole of the uh, Joint Helicopter Command without a shadow of a doubt. Um, you, they are not only able to operate uh, from land environments uh, but also maritime environments and we're also specially trained in Arctic and mountain uh, environments.